you know what? Sometimes I just want a challenge, no matter how stupid it is. So, on my running horizon, which some people would call a bucket list, I have UTMB. If you don't know what it is, it's 100 miles, and to cap that off, it's 10,000 metres of climbing. That's taller than Everest. <laughs> so yeah, I do hate myself, but I don't know, how cool is that? So, as all Londoners know, there aren't many hills in London. So rather than facing the experience of going up Greenwich Hill a hundred times, I thought I'd run to the gym, and I'd jump on something, which sounds rather cool, a Stairmaster. And I thought, you know, why not? A thousand doesn't seem too bad. If you look at the manufactured specifications, each floor is about 3.5 meters. So in total, that should be about three and a half thousand meters. Yeah, it doesn't sound too bad, if the boredom doesn't get me. And even so, it sounded like an interesting challenge, so let the training begin. Honestly, in the last few months, I think I've spent more time training for this than I've actually spent training for running. But I was surprised. I used to look at these machines and think, what's the point? My booty's already big enough already. But it's actually really good training. It really does push your heart rate high. So, after actually quite an enjoyable few months, as all great challenges start, a free Sunday afternoon came up, and I thought, let's go for it. So, doing something you haven't done before can be quite intimidating. You don't know how your body will feel, you don't know where your weaknesses are, you don't know how you'll mentally react to the situation. So I always find, rather than thinking about it too much, just jump straight in. Now we get it So that marked the beginning of many, many steps. I actually don't know what it is about this climbing, but actually I found it really enjoyable. There's something so satisfying about just, I don't know, making progress, even though you're literally going nowhere. And before you know it, you're almost caught off the way there. Oh, there we go. Basically, you're caught away there. So far the body feels um, alright. Okay. Uh, okay. Apologise for the really bad audio here. But the summary is this, it was super hot, I was basically moaning about the temperature of the gym and I was starting to sweat heavily. There we go. Halfway. Oh, oh, we're really going to the unknown now. Yeah, my main focus at this point is get to the next 100. When we get to the next 100 after that, I'm not even going to it. So when I'm faced with a really long, daunting challenge, rather than thinking about it in its entirety, I like to break it down and I use this strategy all the time, again and again. So breaking this long thousand floors into a hundred floors at a time 
just makes it more kind of mentally palatable, you could say. So by focusing on maybe 200 floors, and then getting to 300 floors, and getting to 400 floors, it's just more mentally achievable, and can give you confidence just to keep on pushing, and you'll slowly, slowly get to your end goal. <laughs> Yeah, I did really look terrible at this point, and I'm starting to think that I should have also shaved. But anyway, my legs were getting heavier and heavier, but there wasn't much point dwelling on it. The only thing to focus on was getting to the next 100, and I could even start to see the pool of sweat beneath me. Yeah, don't judge me. If you're not sweating, you're not working out properly. You should always come out of a workout looking like you've just gone through a shower. Maybe that. Oh, that is a fucking cat in Yeah, it was starting to get a little bit painful here. My foot was starting to cramp. I think because as I was climbing up the stairs, I was doing with half my foot. So all the weight was always on the balls of my feet. But anyway, the only solution was just keep on going. Let's go. Let's get to it. I always find it so amazing that as you near the finish line or end of a challenge, suddenly all that fatigue you've built up over the whole thing is lifted. You get a burst of energy, you feel euphoric, and that's just where great memories are made. Like I said, there's no better way to spend a Sunday afternoon than doing something challenging, exciting and difficult. It's such a great way to end the week and start the next one. So, a few quick thoughts. I'm very happy I did it. It was a great focuser and gave me something to train for. And surprisingly, it's just a great source of enjoyment. Just because something doesn't end with a medal doesn't mean it's not worth doing. But saying that, medals are very nice. So, have a go yourself. Think about something stupid. Think about something challenging. And do it. You never know what might happen. And this definitely won't be the last time you see me on a Stairmaster. It's something I'm going to incorporate into all my ultramarathon training going forwards. And with all of that, all I've got to say is have a great Christmas. I'll see you at the next stupid challenge. Cheers, and see you soon.